Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching Youth Basketball Champions League game day two, game two from Group C between BK Opava and Tofas Bursa. BK Opava is from the Czech Republic and Tofas Bursa is from Turkey. We are here in Debrecen, Hungary, Ola Gabor Arena, the venue of this year's YBCL tournament. We have a very interesting matchup for today's second game between Opava and Tofas as the Czechs got an emotional win against Ludwigsburg yesterday. They were trailing by eight points in half time. As you can see on the screen, they were trailing by eight points, but came away with a win by the score of 55 to 60. And uh, it was a mental boost, but physically they have undoubtedly the handicap against the fresh Turkish team tonight, today, as uh, Tofas didn't play yesterday, of course, in this Group C there are three teams and only one could qualify for the semi-finals. So this game is probably the deciding game for the group winner place, the first place, which will mean for the winner a place in the semi-finals as I mentioned we are seven minutes until the opening tip-off I will have some interesting informations about Ludwigsburg's uh, Opava's win against Ludwigsburg's uh, Ludwigsburg yesterday and of course you will have some words about Tofas Bursa last year's silver medalist team but right now introducing the players and the participants of today's game two.
very good academy job. But uh, just a reminder, the roster have plenty of new faces with 10 new players compared to last year. Only Omar Engin and Batu Eriurtlu took part in 2023's tournament. Here you can see Opava's starting five, Chudak, Prachekta, Harazin, Motic, Mutichka and Kastil. Interesting change for David Zach team as Nicolas Teodoru, who played yesterday against Ludwigsburg, is out of the squad tonight, today, and Nicolas Binder with number three is in. So one substitution for today. And so Pava. We have one minute left. Everybody is most ready. With this now green kit, we will be playing Kofas Bursa. And this yellow blue jersey will be worn by. BK Opava, who's starting five, is on the floor right now. So, we are on the way to start today's second game. I didn't mention the first game was won by Igoka against Ike Athens. So, the Greeks were defeated. Again by a wide margin, and Diko Ka, last year's gold medalist, started the campaign this year with a confident win against Ayak. The first shot is missed by Tofas, and Nikke Opava has the first rebound of the game today. For Tofas, Enes Akman, Omer Alt Engin, Batu Eriurtlu. As the first three pointer by Prochectal is way too strong. But the offensive rebound and the second offensive rebound gives a chance to them to shoot again. The third try from the first possession, and this time it is good by David Motichka. So just to finish the starting five for Tofas, it's Akman with 12, Aengin with number four, Eriurtlu force with number six. And here is the quick response. Amirhan Serbest answers with round three. Serbest is with number 16, and the fifth member of the starting crew is Akram Mutlusoy. Nice finish from inside by Pavel Kastil. Kastil had a great game yesterday. Six of his 11 rebounds were on the offensive end. And he had 13 points. Here's another quick answer. This time it was Mutlusoy. 5 5 after two minutes. Harazin in traffic and a finish again. Harazin is on the scoreboard. He's got two. And into Eriurtlu. 
And Lotichka with a rebound. Lotichka finds his teammate who shoots the three. Yes! For three again. It's Pachectal. After his first poor try, this time he converts from behind the three point line, but another quick two pointer for Omerengin. Chudak, Elon, didn't draw the foul, Prochekta with a rebound, and Kashtil finishes from mid-range. It looks like the same story like yesterday for BK Opava, as they have four offensive rebounds in just three minutes. Engin. Three-pointer, yes, it's in, Ryurtlu again. Firepower on the court to start this game. Harazin, penetration of the rim, rebounded by Engin. Engin. Corner three, it's good again. Anis Akman. Chudek. This is out. That three is good as well. Kashtil. Both teams are red hot to start this game. Enjoy to watch. And answer right back. Again from Engin. He's got four. Castillo finds teammate in the corner. It's a good three pointer again. I don't need to say anything. Of course, another basket on the other side. There is a missed three, uncharacteristically. But the offensive board goes again to Opava. Motichka, it's off him. So it's a tough as ball. Motichka shows he would like to take a look at that, and his coach is okay with that. And I have to make a correction as after 15 15, Projecta's shot was only a two pointer, and that was answered by. And it's Akman a few seconds later. So here we go. 17 17 after five minutes and five seconds. So here's the situation. It's clearly out of Motichka's back. I think it will be a bad challenge. can see from different angles but it looked to me real time that it's clearly off Matichka and I'm convinced after the replays yeah the ball rolls over his back and out of bounds Referees have a discussion about this. And yes, it confirms the original decision. It's Tofas ball. Motichka with a steal. Very bad pass by Akman.
Chudak. He has not a chance against Serbest. And a quick two points are again. Tofas is really looking for running the ball from coast to coast. Chudak pulls it up. At that time, Engin. Wide open shot. Offensive board by Servest after the missed three from Mariurtlu. And substitutions are coming for the Turks as they have the two point lead. in to Prachechtal. He's looking for his captain Motichka and Motichka couldn't convert from close range. He tries to get the ball back but he's unable to do this. Serban misses the hook shot but the rebound goes to his teammate and finished by Uh, Sanchakli. This. Excuse me, Vazgunul. And uh, the other side. Chudak can draw a foul. Contact by Servest. Excuse me, Anas Akban. Subbed off for Marik Donmez. After the missed free throw, the rebound was grabbed by Tofas and another three pointer. And yes, it is good again. Berkay Grunul. Standing the lead to seven points for Tofas. Chudak couldn't answer on the other side. Oh, it's a rest. Followed by Motichka. So it is only an inbound from the baseline. His second team foul is Pavel Chudak's first personal. It's a loose ball foul after the missed shot and the rebound. Another baseline jumper. And it is grabbed by Motichka after some fighting for the ball. Barczak is sent by his teammate, Chudak. He's looking for Motichka, who goes hard on the finish. Motichka has five points. Another open three, but it's not good again. The putback. Works for Ahmed Gunul. Mutichka. Should have asked for the ball in the corner and should have attacks the basket. Couldn't finish, but Mutichka gets it back. And Mutichka with the finish. He was hit on the arm, I believe, but the game can go over and on. 
Another offensive board for Mikhail Pava. Long three pointer. Varish made a bad shot selection and no foul on the play. So it's a good D by Varish on the other side. Efe Postel lost the ball. Subs on both sides. So far, David Zach, Chanel Topaloglu. And there is a foul on the play. Barczak was falling on the floor. So it's the second Tofas team foul. Stolen away to the corner. Three pointer. He puts it in. It was Postal. It's a 10 point game. A double digit lead for the first time for Tofas with one minute left from the uh, first quarter. Nice penetration, but a miss on the finish by Kashtil and Barczak misses again as well. And Varish fouls while Postel makes the basket. Tofas is running away with it in the last two minutes in the opening quarter. So it's enough for David Zach to call a time for the first time today. That's a good game for two big men of BK Opava. Starting center David Motichka has five points after he had on the six through six, uh, three quarters yesterday and scoring seven of his th 13 points came in the final period. And now, better start for him. But field goal percentage is still a problem for BK Opava as they are only eight for 22 and get back to the Big man for Opava. The other leading scorer with seven points in this game is Pavel Kastil. From the perimeter, Harazin also at five. On the other side, it's Angin with six, Ganul with seven. And after the offensive rebound, following the missed free throw, it's a Tofas ball. And another try from behind the arc. Yes, it's in. Once again, Efe Postel. He's got eight with this triple. 15 point game. Arazin. To bad pass. Varish has five to shoot and he's fouled. Tofas had a foul to give and it wasn't during the shooting motion. So 5.8 seconds remaining from the first quarter. Shot clock is off, but Harazin took immediately the shot. And then his team can keep the ball after Akramutlusoy fell out of bounds with the ball in his hands. Varish with the inbound, 2.5 seconds. A quick three. No good to finish the first quarter, so Tofas is up by 15. A 
after a quick start for both teams. First, it's in Asharan's hand. Right now, Hostel receives the ball. Quick ball movement, another three pointer. It's not good, but the offensive rebound helps Tofas. It's Mutusoy to finish. Losing the handle is Varshal, Barish, sorry, Barish, and it's an eight-second violation after he couldn't pass the ball to the half line just in time. A bad way to start the second quarter for Opava. It's a bad quick basket by Tofas and then the, that turnover. Another three, another miss for Tofas. They're starting to cool off a bit from behind the arc. Harazin looks for the three. Yes, he does it. It's Harazin again with the triple, but a defensive lapse on the other side committed by Harazin. Did not aware of his team, of his opponent, of his man, with the transition offense. So the little momentum after the three-pointer is immediately killed by fast break layup of us. It is Chudak who was fouled by Basharan. Chudak is the ball carrier. He finds Motichka. Motichka is double teamed. 
That creates space for Harazin from behind the arc, but he misses the ball. The rebound, however, goes to Opava. Oh, Chudak's try for the triple is blocked. And Chudak gets revenge through a foul. And then Basharan looks to Chudak angry. Basharan wasn't afraid of contact, so I don't see as a problem that he collided with Chudak and it wasn't intentional by Chudak as well. Of course, Basharan didn't like what he fell, but... He's okay. Even though he misses both free throws. Motichka is chased by Postel. Projectel lost the ball and then commits the foul. Projector has got a quiet game so far. He's two for five, only five points. Even though he has five rebounds, uh, four rebounds, excuse me. Mutichka has five. Corner three is off. But the rebound again for Tofas. This time it is Motichka. Comes away with the ball. Chudak. Chudak wants to go. Over the court, and he does. Nice finish by Pavel Chudak. But a couple of seconds later, Chudak picks up his third personal foul, which does really hurt his team as he has to sit on a bench. That was Chudak's first successful field goal after missing his First seven tries. And his teammate Varish stole the ball, but then gave it back immediately to the opponent. His three-pointer by Basharan is off. Razin fires and finds the net. After Frantisha Karazin's triple, Opava is back.
Het past aan. Matitschka couldn't steal. And as Servest thought he scored, he started to run back. His teammates helped him with the offensive boards. Corner three. Missed again. Postel is trying the three again and he puts it in. After a couple of offensive rebounds, Postel reached the 10 point mark. He's got 11. Quick response, it's not in, Harazin missed. Running through the floor is Tofas, a three-pointer at that time, but a rebound to Servest. Servest again with the offensive board, and we couldn't convert this time as well. Harazin. This time from mid-range, after spinning away. From the defender, but isn't enough accurate. This ball could be saved by Anas Akman. So it will be Opawa's ball. 14 point lead for the Turkish team. And it's interesting about them that they are competing in three different leagues in Turkey with this age, of, age group of players as this shot and balls out. And another fast break opportunity for. Tofas, nice defensive play by Varish this time. So, these guys for Tofas can play in under 19 league in Turkey. A senior third division team named Gamlik. And of course, first year Tofas team, which is participant of. Senior Champions League as well. So, another turnover for the guys in green jersey. Nopala has a chance once again to cut the lead. Oh, stolen away by Engin. Great D by number four. And the easy finish of the, tur of the turnover. Castillo finds Kocha Kasparek in the paint. Kasparek gets his first point of the game. Servest. Oh, defended hardly by Kasparek. Good job by number 17 for Opava. Servest was. Not able to fight through traffic. And on the floor is Nikolaj Binder. He wasn't in the squad yesterday, as I mentioned earlier. Harazin for three. At that time, Eriurt Lu lost the handle. Harazin is wide open. Under the basket, but Varish makes a bad decision, looking for Binder in the corner, trying to go for three, but after a bad pass, it's Tofas leading the rush and then the three-pointer by F. Postel. He's got 14. And it's still three minutes left from the first half. Kasparek 
fade away three. The response, but no good by Horizon. Going for the steal of Asvarish. And Harazin is blocked by Engin. The ball is out of bounds and stays with Opava. Here's a steal by, by Harazin. Yes. Turkish player got a piece of the ball. Sarvest, the rebound. And a quick outlet pass from Engin. Couldn't be finished quickly. Engin kicks it out to Postel. F. Postel tries another tray in and out. Kastil, wonderful pass. Binrus is fouled. Great court vision by Kastil. Emirhan Serbest committed the foul. And scoring more easy points. That's the receipt for Tofas. And they have a comfortable 17 point lead. And they still have after Binder missed the first free throw. And missed the second one as well. But the back by Durchok. So at the end of the possession, it's two points for Opava. Driving to the basket and throwing the foul was Omer Alpangin. And it was Barchak's personal foul. The fourth for Opava. So they don't have foul to give. And Engin. Should, scores one and misses one. It's a 16 point game and it remains this difference after. The hard pass by F. Apostol is way too strong for his teammate Engin. Oh, Engin did everything he could do to get this ball. And it's another dangerous play by Opava, and they did it a turnover. Aggressive full court press by Tofas. Cashes in. Sarvest in the screen. 
and after the pick and roll, Serbest kicks it out. Three points are by Akman. Back to Serbest. Serbest with another offensive board, and it's a jumbo. Regarding to the possession arrow, it will be Opava's ball. Mirhan Serbest already has 10 rebounds. Gurchok with the ball. Another steal for Ariurt Lu this time. And Tofas with a 16 point lead, and the possession starts at the last minute of the first half. Unsuccessful try, but then Serbest puts it back. Emir and Serbest. With three points and ten rebounds. Barczak pulls up the three pointer, and yes. First made basket for Barczak. It's a 15 point Tofas lead again. Uh, again, yes. Three from the corner, no good. Running through the court is Opava and Postal committed the foul against Minder. Was going for the layup, but had no, had no chance. And the free throws still don't work for Mikulash Binder. He misses all of his four free throw attempts, but Durchok got it back. However, the final horn that ends the second quarter, the first half sounds so. This is a 15 point lead for Tofas Bursa. 34 to 49 is the score after 20 minutes. You can see Opava couldn't convert on a single free throw, even though they had six try from the line. On the other side, Tofas is really bad from the free throw line as well. One for five. Turnovers, assists, and blocks are quite eagle. The main difference is still the shooting percentage. 14 for 39 for BK Opava, 20 for 47 for Tofas Bursa. So, eight more field goals for Tofas. And they are more efficient on these field goals. So, A lot of second chance points, a lot of easy points under the basket. Opava, it looks like Opava cannot repeat yesterday's performance. So, this is a 15 point lead for Tofas, and we are coming back with the second half in circa 12 minutes.
BK Opava's players arrived almost two more minutes later than the Turks. It's not surprising. Of course, David Zach had much more to say to his guys. I could not repeat their defensive effort. That we saw them, saw from them uh, yesterday. They allowed 55 points to Ludwigsburg on Tuesday. Right now, Tofas has 49, so almost as, ma as ma uh, many as Opava conceded yesterday. ready to inbound Ahmed Gunul played six and a half minutes in the first half now in the group who starts the second half for Tofas Gunul with the three Rebound, Kastil. Chudek with the help of Kastil. Still number 55. Nice finish. Otichka defends the court on the other side and the box out. Sarvest almost got his 12th rebound, uh, 13th rebound, but this time team rebound. Teamwork is well enough for BK Opava. But on the other end, they lost the ball, so. It's Tofas possession again. Gunul. Sarvest. Three pointer. No good. And this time the rebound is projectiles. Chudek. Left behind Engin. Who fouled him just to stop the fast break. If a postal missed the previous. Triple. He still got 14 points. And another rejection by Servest. He collects the fist bumps. Harazin. Kastil. One on one. Servest the rebound, of course. Three pointer, it's good. Merengin, once again, he's got 12. Motichka pulls up a three. He misses. Engin to Servest. Servest misses the close layup. Chudak, Prachaktal for three. Puts it in. Jan Prachaktal. Will they respond? No, that time it is missed by Kramutl Soy. Chudak for three. No good. Motic had the rebound. Harazin. He shoots the three as well, but he misses. Chudak the rebound. Two offensive boards. In a short period of time. Motichka for three. 
off the right side of the rim. And then finally, Tofas could grab the defensive rebound and immediately fouled by Harazin. Was Ahmed Gunul. Mutusoy. Engin. Engin. This is the mid range jumper. Harazin. Didn't want help. Maybe he would have had to. Projecta with the foul. Here comes the Turkish army. Hengin, that pass, and it's a backcourt violation. No, they could avoid it, and after Chudak's mishandle, it's another chance to increase the lead by Tofas. But a shot clock violation is the call, as neither shot touched the rim the last 24 seconds. It looked like... It was a backcourt violation, but then a big save and Chudak's mistake gave another chance for Tofas to score on this possession, but finally, at the end, they couldn't convert Chudak. Waiting, passing, Kashtil with the three. Dreams out. Ayurtlu. Pull up jumper. Easy points for Postal. Chudak. Prochakta. Haras in for three. No, Motichka runs with Serbest. Too far from the wall. And it's another missed opportunity for Opava to come closer to the leading Tofas Bursa. It's still a 15 point game. Both, team, both teams struggle with shooting in the second half at least if you take a look at the first half shooting percentage and should have lost the ball but a personal foul is called it was Basaran yes here's the reach in So both teams got five points in the first five minutes of the third quarter. Not much offensively. Chudak, an ankle breaker, but a miss shot by Chudak. A quick three, it's an ugly air ball. Kashtil had the chance to make the inbound with Chudak. Chudak tries it from close range, fouled while shooting. The shot was missed, so two free throws are coming for Pavel Chudak. Chudek has made his first field goal after missing seven and then 
He's over three. Since then. But from the free throw line, he scores one point. free throw because interferencing the shooter but Chudak missed that one as well that three is off the mark Motichka let it go, but Motichka can't find anything. This game after scoring five in the first quarter, and now Motichka with the foul. Servest is very angry. He wanted the end one badly. It has to work for those two points by throwing from the free throw line. 14-point game. Amirhan Sarvest has the chance to increase the lead and first free throw is good. So it's 40 to 55. And then the second one is good. Servest had the lucky bounce. Chudek turns it over. And the layup by Ahmed Ganul. Chudek, another turnover. Chudek plays far from his best. And the end one again. It's Basaran. And it's a timeout called by David Zach. 20 point game. This is the largest difference between the teams so far. And after the timeout, Asaran will have the chance to increase that to 21 points. There is Opawa's top scorers. No one has double digits. assists as a team. This time it is Chaner Topaloglu who needed a little more time to instruct his players. Now, it is Masaran from the free throw line. One shot misses. Durchok the rebound. Barchak to Motichka. Motichka, the ball carrier. He has troubles with handling the ball, but then 
Got it back. Binder. Threw the ball over the basket, but he was fouled. And the Kulash Binder. Can try to get his first point. You can remember he had four chances from the free throw line in the first half, but missed all of the free throws at this time. He misses the first one, very ugly. <laughs> Binder has absolutely no confidence this time. Now, his shot misses. Motichka looking for Barczak. Gave him the ball. In the field is Wojciech Kraval. And then play in the first three quarter, way the first half. And Motichka with the jumper for two. Gunnul. Pull up Jay. Missed by Eriur Klu. Motichka puts it up, but it's no good. Postel. Did Postel try the alley pass? If not, that was risky and not so smart pass. Motichka will make the inbound. Half court press by Tofas Bursa. Bindra. Kraval. Personal foul is committed by Anas Akman. Yeah, he grabbed his opponent's arm. So Durchuk will try from the free throw line. He misses as well. Brutal performance from the free throw line. One for 11. Now one for 12 for Opala. But they got the ball back. Reflecting the ball was. Kramutlisoy. So Pava has 13 seconds on the shot clock. Barczak. Attacks the basket. On this off balance. Shots was way off. Pass around for three off the mark. And Barczak have the ball. Through Kraval's hand. It is Binner's now. Kraval. High arc shots. Way off. Two seconds to shoot. Barczak's shot and then touch the rim, so it's a shot clock violation.
Efe Posta holding the ball for a long time, waiting for the screen, going the other way, and then Postal shoots and scores, and then looking at the ref. He wanted a foul as well, but didn't get it. Meanwhile, the steal and the finish by Vassaran. Three by Motichka. Rebound and a shot to finish the third quarter. It's off. And so, Tofas could lead, uh, could uh, extend the lead in the third quarter. And now they have a 22 point advantage. It's 42 to 64. We have still 10 minutes remaining. Some time for Opava to make the final score better. And if Tofas can win the game, which is very probable right now, it may cause an interesting situation because Opava has beaten Ludwigsburg. And if Tofas wins today and Ludwigsburg would beat Tofas tomorrow, then all of the three teams would have one win and one loss. So that can create an interesting situation. And in that case, every basket can count. Can have important role in the fourth quarter as well in this game. forget Ludwigsburg has an off day today so they will play freshly against Tofas tomorrow while the Turks will play back to back Chudak Kastil Kastil alone. Kastil the finish. Let's lay up. Edward Lou looking for his teammates inside, but didn't find. On the other side, Kastil misses, but the offensive board by Chudek. Harazin can deflect the pass. Projecta falls. And it's Akman who delivers while being fouled. So another free throw is coming after the main basket. Projecta tried to block. Akman, this is the free throw. Kastil, he's feeling it. A similar situation than in the previous possession, but this time Akman misses and didn't get a foul. So. Pala's ball and then Akman committed the foul, so 
First team foul for Tofas Bursa in this quarter. Should have lost it, but, but then gets it back. A three-pointer by Projecta. It's good! Point difference is 17. And it still is. And Opawa has the ball. Chudak. Reflected pass. Kasparak shows the screen to his teammate Harazin, who finishes along. Quick, quick points to start the fourth quarter, and it's a 15 point game. Ariurt Lu. Mutlusoy misses this time as well. So Chudak. And Chudak made another bad decision. Fast break. It's finished by Akman for two points. So, Prochakta to dish out to his teammate. Gosh, to this season. All the momentum has gone away for BK Opala. Let's run. He was thinking about the three pointer, but then drove closer. And scored for two. That's six for him. Exactly seven minutes left from the fourth quarter. And we had the whistle, but nothing more happened. Castillo. Castillo. Try to go through traffic. Successful that. Ariutlu answers with a basket. And Harazin with the turnover this time. Just lay up, but got back by Serbest. The three pointer for Uyutlu. High off the rim and out. Kashtil. Followed by Gunul. First personal and for Tofas, second team foul. Chudak receives the ball. Otichka dishes out. Short on the three by Barish. No traveling. And the rebound goes back to Tofas. Sarvest. Basaran almost lost it, but was able to get it back.
players. The next game for today was Leoby Oldenburg against Hapoel Jerusalem. You can see Hapoel for the first time in this year's tournament. And both of us had two shots before the shot clock annihilation, but neither falls in. So, Hapoel will make the debut from 3 p.m. So, in one hour, almost exactly one hour. Oldenburg will try to build on yesterday's win. Motichka scores on the three-pointer. Uh, three Of us couldn't answer back. Basaran is the close floater. Barish. Harazin tries his luck. Misses again. And the other side is it is Gunul. Getting his 10th and 11th point. Harazin is able to convert this time, but he is still on the 4 for 17. He's not having a good game. Like the most Czech players, Harazin. Chudak is angry with him because Harazin tried to go inside through traffic. Chudak was demanding the ball. Trying the three-pointer, but did not get it. And the three-pointer on the other end. Yes, Eriot Lu. Excuse me, 21, uh, 21 point game. It's 3.50 remaining from the fourth quarter. So it is looking an easy win for Tofas to start this year's Youth BCL. Schechtel has 11 points and 10 rebounds, so here's the double-double for Opava. As well as Motichka, who has 10 points alongside with 10 rebounds. Kashtil is close to the double-double with 13 points and 9 rebounds. On the other side, it is Gunnul with an outstanding performance, 11 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists. Servest has game-high 17 rebounds, with only 7 points, thanks for his poor shooting percentage, 2 for 10 for Emirhan Servest. But 17 rebounds sounds really well. It's another two points for Ahmed Gunula. The leading scorer 
is still F a postal the fastest guard at 18 points. Maybe the refs, maybe the opponent, maybe himself. Another turnover from him. Ganul. This fast break was not like in the books, but Still a 25 point lead for Ursa, so another steal and another fast break point. And Yurtle finished after Engins steal and assist. Engins steals again. And David Zach calls another timeout after our Yurtle's. Another easy point. Twenty-nine point difference. And Opava is completely out of gas. To the end of this game. Here we go, an interesting set stat. Turnovers by quarter. They have six in the fourth quarter. And three of these six turnovers came from the last three possessions for Opava. That's why I say they are that tired like right now. Here is Ariurtlus, easy layup. Projectel with inbounds. They have to run. They could avoid the shot of violation. Pachaktel is Harazin. Harazin is falling in. So Harazin puts two more for his stat line. Dunamaz. He's a three pointer. No good this time. And this is a personal foul. Yes, it is. It was Basaran. Two more substitutions for the Turks. Chudak. It's a nice pass this time. And Harazin. After his miss, it is projectile. With the offensive board and the finish. And one additional free throw. To make it a 24 point game. If Protractal is successful from the line, but he doesn't finish 
Suffering an injury while leading 25 and with 46 seconds left from the fourth quarter is very, very frustrating. We hope that Basaran will be okay for tomorrow. Almost stolen, but it's still Tofa's ball. Tried to draw an offensive foul. Couldn't. After a missed shot on the defensive rebound. Chudak to Harazin. Yes. Harazin. 3 for 13 from behind the arc. Motichka almost lost it. And Tofas. Maybe decided to stop, but Opava was so aggressive on defense that they, I mean, Tofas answered with a three pointer, and it was a successful three pointer. So the final score is BK Opava 63, Tofas Bursa 88. It's a convincing 25 point win for Tofas. Now they have the lead in Group C, but everything will be decided tomorrow when Tofas will face Ludwigsburg. One thing is sure that Opava finishes the group stage with one win and one loss. And we will see what happens tomorrow between Tofas Bursa and Ludwigsburg. Here are the stats. By the end of the game, Opava corrected little their field goal percentage. But those turnovers kill them. 22 balls was given away. Harazin was the leading scorer for Opava, but he needed 25 attempts from the field to get those 17 points. So we can't say it was an outstanding performance by Arazin. Maybe projectile was the most consistent shooter for Opava. He finishes with 5 for 10, 50%, and 3 for 8 from behind the arc. So with the greatest plays of this game. I say goodbye to you. Thank you for your attention and stay with us as we are coming back at four o'clock. So 50 minutes from now with the next game of game day two between Oldenburg and Hapoel Jerusalem.